Edexcel, A-Level Maths, Statistics and Mechanics, Summer 2018, Question 9. A plank AB of mass M and length 2A rests with its end A against a rough vertical wall. The plank is held in a horizontal position by a rope. One end of the rope is attached to the plank at B and the other end is attached to the wall at the point C, which is vertically above A. A small block of mass 3M is placed on the plank at the point P, where AP equals X. The plank is in equilibrium in a vertical plane, which is perpendicular to the wall. The angle between the rope and the plank is alpha, where tan alpha equals 3 quarters, as shown in figure 3. The plank is modelled as a uniform rod, the block is modelled as a particle, and the rope is modelled as a light and extensible string. Using the model, we want to show that the tension in the rope is 5mg brackets 3x plus a all over 6a. So the first thing to do, as always, is to put our forces onto the diagram. We know that the block has a mass of 3m, so the force of gravity acting downwards will be 3mg. The plank has a mass m, so the force acting downwards mg. As it's a uniform rod, this force is right in the middle of that plank. And we've got the tension in the rope coming up along the rope from the point B. It's also a good idea to try and resolve this horizontally and vertically. So by basic trigonometry, treating T as the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, we can quickly get that the vertical component is T sine alpha straight upwards and the horizontal component is T cos alpha to the left. We're also told that tan alpha equals three quarters. Again, with some quick geometry of right angle triangles, we can use that to work out that sine alpha equals three fifths, cos alpha equals four fifths. We've got everything we need now. As we don't have any information about A yet, it is a good idea to resolve moments around A, because then anything that's happening at A won't matter. So in the anti-clockwise direction, all we've got is the force at B. The perpendicular part of that is T sine alpha. It's at a distance 2A away from A. So the full force is 2A T sine alpha. Clockwise, we've got the force of gravity acting on P, which is 3mg. Now it's a distance of x from a, and we've got the mass of the plank itself, which is mg, and as that's halfway along, that is a distance of a from a. So we've got our equation of 2at sine alpha equals 3x mg at a mg. Now replacing sine alpha with 3 fifths, which we know it is, and factorising the right hand side, we get that 6 fifths at equals mg brackets 3x plus a. Dividing by 6 fifths gives us at equals 5mg brackets 3x plus a over 6 and dividing by a gives us 5mg brackets 3x plus a all over 6a as required. We're now told that the magnitude of the horizontal component of the force exerted on the plank at A by the wall is 2mg. We need to find x in terms of A. So let's add this force to our diagram. There's the 2mg. It's going to the right because it is the wall acting on the plank. We can now see that this is acting horizontally. So let's do some resolving horizontally. The only force is going that direction are the 2mg going to the right and the t cos alpha going to the left. So they must be equal to each other as the plank isn't moving. We worked out what t is in the previous question and we know that cos alpha equals four fifths. So putting them in, we get the 5mg brackets 3x plus a over 6a times by four fifths equals 2mg. Now cancelling out the fives top and bottom, and the mg's that we have on both sides, we can simplify quite a bit. We've got 3x plus a all over 6a times by 4 equals to 2. Multiplying by 6a gives us 4 lots of 3x plus a equals 12a. Dividing by 4, 
3x plus a equals 3a. Taking that a away from both sides gives us 3x equals 2a. And finally, dividing by 3 gives us that x is equal to 2a over 3. We're now told that the force exerted on the plank at A by the wall acts in a direction which makes an angle beta with the horizontal, and we want to find the value of tan beta. So we've got the horizontal component of this, the 2mg. So there'll also be a vertical component, let's call it F, which we're then going to use to find the resultant force with the angle of beta. Looking at our diagram, F is acting vertically, so let's resolve vertically. Going up, we've got the F and we've got the T sine alpha, and downwards, we've got the MG and the 3MG. Again, we know what T is, we've already worked that out. We know what sine alpha is, so substituting them in, simplifying the MG and the 3MG to make 4MG, and taking away our T sine alpha from both sides, gives us that F is equal to 4mg minus 5mg brackets 3. I've replaced the x with 2a over 3, which we just worked out in the last part, plus a all over 6a. Simplifying that last fraction gives us that F is equal to 4mg minus mg brackets 2a plus a all over 2a. Adding the 2a and a together, gives us 4mg minus mg times 3a all over 2a. Cancelling the a's gives 4mg minus 3mg over 2. We can now bring those like terms together. So we've got that f is equal to 5mg over 2. We now know the vertical component of our force, 5mg over 2. We've got our horizontal component, 2mg. So using trigonometry, we've got that tan beta equals the opposite, the vertical of 5mg over 2, over the adjacent, which is the horizontal section, 2mg, which is equal to 5 over 4. Now the rope will break if the tension in it exceeds 5mg, and we need to explain how this will restrict the possible positions of P. So we know that tension equals 5mg brackets 3x plus a over 6a. As the rope will break if the tension exceeds 5mg, this whole fraction must be less than or equal to 5mg. As we can see, there's 5mg on both sides. So if we divide both sides by that, we get 3x plus a all over 6a is less than or equal to 1. Multiplying by 6a, we get 3x plus a, smaller than or equal to 6a. Take away the a and divide by 3. We get that x must be smaller than or equal to 5a over 3. Now, looking at this physically, x is a distance of p from a. So that tells us that p can't be further than 5a over 3 from the point a. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.